Hello. So good to meet you at our global motivational meeting. We are reading World Scripture book. This God's words that empower billions of people, families, communities, countries, and the whole world. And will help you to just read these quotes and practice in your daily life. Think about them that God could give you tips for a happy life and prepares future. As we reading this uh, holy book from the beginning, please find all the chapters of our message to Billion channel. You may turn on suggestion playlists, choose the best one and listen to God's words all the day. And for today, God prepare as we reading about society, government for the people. The welfare of its citizens uh, should be the chief concern of government. Their scriptures affirm that a ruler should put the people's need ahead of his own. This is uh, signified by his uh, titles, the prophets uh, of the Israel called their rulers uh, shepherds. Jews call rulers uh, of the kingdom servants. And Chinese tradition regarded the emperors as the father and mother of the people. A leader can show consideration to his followers by personal kindness, forgiving their mistakes, and believing the best about them even when he knows they are likely to fall short. He can demonstrate solidarity with their difficulties by foregoing the pump and ostentation of high office and living simply as one of the people. Moreover, scriptures encourage benevolent government policies, including reducing taxing in times of economic recessions, investing in the people to create jobs, empowering them to have ownership of their work and providing for the welfare of the poor and destitute. The precepts of governance that make for a benevolent rule are universal, which is why scriptures written in ancient times when all governments were monarchies remain relevant today. Nevertheless, this section also includes some text on democracy because in modern times, a government of the people and by the people has proven to be the surest way to have a government for the people. Yet democracy has also produced its share of uh, monstrosities. Uh, the French Revolution is but one example. More than just free elections and a representative government, the animating spirit behind democracy can make all the difference between the blessings of liberty and totalitarian terror. Hence, in the Western experience, democracies built upon Christian values have done better than those based on materialism. Yet even American democracy, which is its emphasis on individual freedom, is deficient in many ways, according to Father Moon. A better underprinting for democracy, he declares, is the spirit of true love. Servant leadership. First quote, in the happiness of his objects uh, lies a king's happiness and their welfare, his welfare. Whatever pleases uh, him to show not consider as good but whatever pleased his subjects, uh, he shall consider as good. And the quote, the, when loss is above and gain below, the people's joy is boundless. When those above exhibit no pride to the ones below them, the future is uh, brightly illumined. Another quote, this Desiring to rule over the people, one must in one's world humble oneself before them. And desiring to lead the people, one must in one's uh, person follow behind them. Therefore, the sage take his practice over the people, yet is no burden. Take his place ahead of the people, yet causes no obstruction. That is why the empire supports him joyful and never tries of doing so. Another quote, uh, governing a large state is like boiling a small fish. 
another quote, lay no burden on the public which uh, the majority cannot bear. Another quote, to demand much from oneself and tight from others is the way for a ruler to banish discontent. Another quote, the man of perfect future wishing to be established himself seeks also to establish others, wishing to be enlarged himself to he seeks also to enlarge others. Further later, it's quote from the second kind Messiah, Father San Moon. If you want to rule others, uh, first be ruled by them. Leaders are people who let others use them, yet they do not perish. Come, let yourself be used by all the people of the world for the sake of God. Then they will come under your influence. The leader who commands uh, his followers uh, when they are not uh, willing to obey will perish. Uh, if you want to become someone of high status, you should be able to take good care of the people under you. A uh, Soren should uh, become one uh, with his people. He should think that uh, all that he owns is not for himself, but for his country. If that happens, uh, the country will prosper. The larger minded person can embrace and manage smaller minded people. Can you be a person of such a breadth of character that people of every nationality will admire you and want you to lead them. We should live for the sake of others. A leader who lives a self-centered life invites the discontent and leads the others to disobey the heavenly way. Living for the sake of others is the way to resemble God. When you inherit God's uh, true love and practice it to love your family, society, nation, and the world, you are living in accordance with the basic of order of universe. Only through practicing true love can you become a true person of perfect character and hence become a true parent, true teacher, and true owner. You became a peacemaker. When you live your life for the sake of others, you are hidden toward the first gate of peace. A self-centered person cannot be a leader. It doesn't matter that uh, he has a college degree or even that he, he is a professor. Rather, a leader needs to have a mind to live for the sake of the whole and be equipped in all areas. A person with such a qualification will climb to the top. At the election time, people will not uh, vote for a candidate whom they perceive is self-centered. They will choose the candidate who live for the sake of the whole, who will benefit them. This uh, formula for the leadership has been constant throughout history. Be a wise leader who embraces his uh, people twice after testing them once. Let them feel his call that does for our own good. Otherwise, they will scorn you and oppose you, and in the end, Satan will invade. When a person whom you work with for the first time make a mistake, remember how little you have given him and invested in him. Then despite his mistake, you can forgive him. As the leader greet him with a delightful heart before you expect him to do so to you, if you expect him to greet you with a bright face when you yourself do not, then you are thief. If uh, one of you people does something wrong, do not take action against him right away. Even if he did something very wrong, try to find a way to have him to do something good to improve the situation. Although that small good condition is far outweighed by the evil he did earlier and on a Count of it, you can have room to reserve judgment until you can deal properly and comprehensively with that situation. A responsible person, even when he knows the truth, let himself be deceived. Use clear judgment in handling affairs in your daily life. Then your heart should follow. To be clear about affairs means to act in accordance with the reason. You should never act on the better when you are confused or uncertain about it. 
analyze well how to handle relationships uh, with those about you and uh, below you and you right and on your left in front of you and behind you once that is clear you can cultivate affectionate uh, feelings to embrace them all the cloth uh, of affection can wrap up everyone grandfathers grandmothers babies everyone the cloth of uh, intellect is uh, one-sided while the cloth of affection is all embracing look at me i love even 80 years old grandmothers and they flock to my place grandmothers and teeny infants all rejoice to be wrapped in the cloth of love they hug each other the infants resting in the old ladies arms never wanting to live with the cloth of love you can create that kind of place so powerful quotes for today. If you have difficulties, watch one more time this video. Share this video as we and video on happy life, subscribe, smile, and contact me for consultation cooperation and become a member of this Heavenly Parents Holy Community globally. Receive Heavenly Kingdom citizenship right now. The contact is below. And uh, see you tomorrow with more powerful quotes. Till then, turn on suggestion playlists. Choose the best one for you. And listen, God's words stay blessed all the day. Bye-bye, yours, Nikolai Sefer.